back again tonight with another video. In tonight's video, I have a new T206 Hall of Fame card to reveal. Really excited to share with y'all the addition to a new set that I'm slowly working on. Uh, additionally, I decided I wanted to make sure y'all knew about the new giveaway that I'm putting out there. It's the 250th subscriber giveaway. I'm giving away two 1970s uh, lots. One will be from the early 70s, one will be from the late 70s. Two possible chances at winning some really cool cards from the uh, from this collection. I think there's uh, one from each year, a Hall of Famer or a Superstar in each one. So um, I'm going to leave a link on the upper right corner. You can click on it now or you can click on it later. It's a, it will be It's the 250th subscriber giveaway. And all you have to do is leave a comment talking about your favorite 70s player and make sure... Most important thing is to make sure you are subscribed to this channel. So you can click on the bottom right corner of the screen, or you can click on my uh, YouTube page to subscribe and be in the know for more giveaways. Uh, so that's going to be um, one of the things I wanted to talk about. Um, additionally, I would decided that tonight we'll open up more junk box packs from the boxes that I have. So I have the 86, 87, 88, and 89. I'll save that for the end. Uh, but more importantly, I wanted to share with y'all the new Hall of Famer that I received in my collection. So y'all remember last time I got the Christy Mathewson uh, white cap uh, T206 card. This has the Piedmont back. It is a limited series of 150. So a beautiful card. Uh, this one costed me, I think, close to 500, but it's a beautiful card. I love Christy Mathewson growing up as a New York Giants fan. Uh, hearing about all the great things, just a great pitcher he was, one of the best pitchers in baseball history. And uh, so his name definitely uh, speaks volume as far as uh, Giants fans around the world. And additionally, I wanted to share with y'all one of the greatest Tigers it, uh, that we that has ever played. We have S Sam Crawford. I uh, picked this one up off eBay for about 160 bucks. The condition of it's pretty poor. It's missing um, some pieces from the card. Uh, this one has a sweet caporal cigarettes on the back, but you know, I mean, it's creased, but the, um, the surface on it, the, co the coloring on it is still great, and uh, no markings as far as I can tell, which was a big deal for me. I know the Matthewson has it, but this one's pretty good too, and you know, my thought is all Hall of Famers, I want to try to get in lower condition because obviously the value will be, the cost will be less. And then some of the more common guys, I'll pay a little bit more for to for the you know to get in good condition. So obviously there's going to be cards that are just going to be out of my reach entirely because of their limited limited run, like the Honus Wagner and the uh, was the Honus Wagner and the um, Eddie Eddie Plank will be tough ones. I mean those are like uh, might as well you know take a shot at the lottery if I want to try to get that get those cards. But it's, you know, they float around every now and then. I mean, they're they're up there. I mean, those cards are worth fifty, sixty thousand dollars, even in poor condition. So to even to even get one is uh, is like a needle in a haystack if I were to get lucky. But um, you know, it's something to work towards in the future, maybe, but not right now. Um, additionally, I wanted to show this. My grandparents got me this um, Honus Wagner reprint. Uh, it's a T206, and when I when I first when I first got got it, I was like, oh my god! But then I realized, yeah, <laughs> it's a it's a reprint, but it's so really cool. Um, it's I mean, it kind of just looks really cool in the back. It has some sort of um, uh, NT9 authenticity replica, and it shares a little story. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't exactly know. Um, where exactly what this is from? I haven't really opened it up yet just got it yesterday um and it kind of shows the the sale history obviously probably in very good condition it went for you know 2.8 million dollars uh the actual honus wagner card it's kind of cool you can see the history it's really gone up and up and up i'm hoping and you know that maybe at, at some point i can find one of these the real ones for you know like in really 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 poor shape in the very distant future but still very cool um I think my next goal for a Hall of Famer is probably to find, uh, I'd love to find a Ty Cobb, but I know that's a reach too. I mean, they go, uh, the Ty Cobbs kind of go for uh, a good amount of money as well. Um, Mordecai Brown, I think, is a good one to try to find, so I might try to go after him. Tris Speaker is another one. I'd love to be able to 
kind of get my hands on one of those. Uh, but I'm slowly, you know, slowly working up to it. Uh, I feel really good about the the Sam Crawford pickup for the price that I got it for. Sorry if my video cuts in and out. I'm using kind of a network system for my feed, so we might cut in and out every now and then. Um, but that's how, you know, for the, I have two nice Hall of Famers now with uh, uh, Sam Crawford and, uh, and um, Christy Mathewson. But just wanted to kind of showcase those two, those two things. Um, so let's open up some packs. Um, we'll start with the 1989 and work our way backwards. So I can get the backpack open. We'll see who we can find tonight. Off to the side here. Maybe we'll find a John Small to rookie in here tonight. But we're leading us off. We got Larry Parrish, Red Sox Bob Stanley, Don August. Here's a Hall of Famer. You got Jim Rice. Or Jenna Salazar. Eric King. Hey, Dante Bichette's rookie card. It's pretty cool. Uh, the company store card. Chet Lemon. Jerry Dungleton. Terry Kennedy. Tom Foley. Dave Magadan. Lloyd Mosby. Steve Peters. And Rick Suckliff. To the 1988, we will find ourselves a Glavin or a Roberto Alomar. It's over here. Company store card. We'll flip this around. We got Mike Mason. Here's an athletics leader. We got Mark McGuire and Jose Canseco on there. Chuck Tanner, Don Slot, Leo Durham, Doug Sisk, Steve Lake, Tony Armas. Nolan Ryan turn back the clock. Matt Young, Dave Anderson, Glenn Wilson, Phil Lombardi, Ed Nunez, and John Tudor. No big, no serious names out of that one. We'll get to the '87 and hope our, if we can find ourselves a Canseco, uh, excuse me, um, Bo Jackson or Barry Bonds and a McGuire. That'd be pretty sweet. Looks like the gum. Broken to two, left a nice wax stain on the Bobby Meacham. Leading us off here, we got Tom Kelly. Hey, here's a Nolan Ryan. That's a beautiful, that's a pretty nice card. Nice, nicely centered Nolan Ryan late in his career. Pretty good condition all around. Here's Dennis, um, Dennis Rasmussen, Henry Cotto, Juan Beniquez. Spike Owen, Andres Galarraga, Bobby Meachin, hey, Roger Clemens, third year card. Fernando Valenzuela, nice back to back. Not Hall of Famers, but still st stars. Here's a Mets Leaders card with uh, Daryl Strawberry on there, Mike Kruko, Ray Knight, Carney Lansford, Bob Tewksbury, Dan Petrie, and Todd Worrell. Pretty nice pack there. No Bonds or uh, no Bo Jackson, but still nice pickups. And we get to the 86. 86 just has a very impactful style to them that I really like. Let's see if we can get some big names out of this pack tonight. We've got Jim Wolford, Randy Hunt, Kevin Gross, uh, Burt Hooten. These are upside down. Ken Daly, Garth Yorg. Oh, there's two cards on this one. I think there's a Ray Knight on the back. Oh no, UL, UL Washington. Spring Fever Baseball. Dave Engel. There's a Pete Rose commemorative record breaker card. That's pretty cool. Jim Acker. Max Venable. Jeff Stone. Jerry. Don Gleaton, Jeff Reardon, and we finish off with Tom Hemke. So, plenty, plenty of commons to go around. But we finish it off tonight with some... We got Pete Rose, Fernando, some pretty decent names here. Clemens, Nolan Ryan, probably our best one. And Jim Rice from the 89. And then we got some superstars, Galarragas, um... 
Here's Maguire and Conseco together, and Dante Bichette's rookie card. But tonight, it was all about showcasing to Yale this sweet, sweet Sam Crawford from the Detroit Tigers, Hall of Famer. Um, I look forward to, what, to seeing what the next T206 card is going to be, and I'll definitely uh, showcase that to Yale. So again, uh, thank you all so much for stopping by, checking out the new T206 collection. And again, don't forget, got the giveaway, y'all. Got the giveaway. Uh, giveaway of the 70s. Check out that video. You can check it out at the end of the video. To, uh, and make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you can be a participant. So I want to say thank you all again for watching. Hope you all have a great night. Take care.